William Idell back again with the Creative Call, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make content for your Instagram a week in advance. Let's jump into it. All right, so I know you're asking that. What do you mean, like in a week in advance? But I like to do. If you're busy like me. I like to have content already saved on my phone. Now, I, I have two different phones. I have an Android and I have an iPhone. Um, I like my iPhone because it takes great pictures. It's my work phone. Also, I like my Android phone because I can get an SD card and stick it in there and store a lot of pictures compared to like an iPhone where you're limited on storage, you have to pay for it. So with images from a photo shoot or um, content that I've created a week or a month in advance ago, I could just store it on my phone and have it already prepared to post on Instagram or Facebook throughout the week. That way, if I'm busy during the week working or... That was random. That way, if I'm busy throughout the week working and I'm out and about and I'm not in the office, I'll always have the content I need on my phone ready to post. So. That's why I encourage people, especially if you're uh, if you're striving to be uh, a content creator or influencer or whatever they call it. Uh, I still don't get that name, influencer. But um, or you just have a business or a brand and you want to keep your page consistent with you know fresh content every day. You know it's good to book a photo shoot with someone or have someone that's in marketing and. Uh, advertisement somebody that's good that has an eye for content creating that way they can you can pay for their services and they can create the content for you give it to you on the thumb drive or upload it to a Dropbox and you will always have it ready to go so uh, that's the smart way I would go about doing it because if you try to do it yourself and you notice your images isn't stacking up to you know the industry standard you're not going to keep up with what's going on I mean everything is going digital right now and people are just getting better and better and better and better with their content so if you think you're just gonna keep taking stuff with your cell phone and you know you know downloading some app where you can just put words on it you know I mean you always have to keep in mind like how am I gonna compete with everyone else especially if they're doing something similar to what I'm doing you know the best way to compete is to either get on their level or surpass them you know uh, for starters the best thing to do is just to get closer to the level and quality so what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna show you um, this guy that I shot uh, King Wolf. I'm gonna give you an example all right so we're doing this in Photoshop what you want to do is uh, create a new file of course and we're gonna do a square 1080 by 1080 I already have it set uh, resolution could be 150 or 300. I mean, the web is 150. I mean, 300 is going to increase your file size. So you have to think about that. If you're not uploading it to Dropbox, if you're just sending it through Gmail, Gmail might put a cap on your size. But for right now, I'll just leave it at 300. Go to create. So you have your artboard. All right. If you don't know how to find your artboard, it's this little, if you hold down this button up here, um, the, uh, the arrow button. Where is that? I just saw it. Right click, sorry. Click on artboard. And whoops. What's going on? There we go. You gotta click on the actual name artboard, all right? You get these little plus signs all around the artboard, all right? <clears throat> so what is Instagram? It's like three posts per page, right? So what I like to do is click Boom, you got one to the right, another one to the right. And, whoops, let me go back, my bad. Yeah, let's make one down, left, left, down, right, right. There's a lot of different ways you could have done that. And I'm hit control zero. And what does that look like? That looks like an Instagram page, right? You got, you got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Seven days out of the week, we have nine up here, all right? So as you can see, Artboard 1, when you click on it, this highlights Artboard 2, 
Arbor 3, Arbor 4. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just click on Arbor 1. I'm gonna pull up the photo where I have the latest shoot that uh, I shot with uh, Kane Wo. And I'm gonna just start selecting some images. All right, and I'm gonna drop it in there. So starting at the top, we have the strong pose right here. And since I'm already in Artboard 1, we'll just make sure that it's highlighted. Yes, we're in Artboard 1. And we're going to just drop, my mouse stops tripping, drop that image over there into that Artboard. As you can see, it'll snap into it. And uh, what I'm going to do is zoom in. Now, you can leave that image just like that, but I don't want that. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going uh, I'm to increase that. Let me go back. There we go. I want to fill the whole frame. Let me increase that more. There we go. That's one image. All right, let's go to artboard two. And we might do like an all red thumbs up Get this to move over whoops there we go Uh, uh, my anchor point moves by accident. <laughs> Let's just save it and Let's just use my tools up here. All right. Looks like I might need new batteries because my wireless is tripping. Let's go to Artboard 3. And we got some brighter shots. As you can see, I was shooting with a beauty dish. I had uh, a beauty dish as a, a key light. And um, uh, I had a, another light on the bottom with a grid on it, pointed upward with a red gel on it. Then I had uh, a light with a red gel pointed towards the back. And it was shot on a, a background that I made with uh, plywood. Uh, a custom set. Uh, the client said he wanted all red, and that's what we gave him. All red. Some shoots, I mean, you might have to go paint your backdrop. You might just have to. I like to paint because it gets to the point where you're just buying paper, seamless paint, paper. I've been shooting for years, so I mean, also another good thing since you got these in here. Now, if I want to go retouch this, I can just grab, you know, um, well, let me see how to do this. We'll go back to it, but I can just grab a stamp tool and go in here and um, stamp that this whole line up the background if I want to. So I can rasterize that and just stamp that on out. I think I just stamped that corner first. And I'm gonna grab my patch tool and just patch that on out. All right, my mouse is tripping. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop over onto our Wacom tablet and we'll slide that on over. Now we could go in and, and <clears throat> retouch that a little more, but as you can see where we're, go where we're going at, we got three images already. We got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you how far you can you can push this, all right? So let's go ahead and grab another image. Let's click on Artboard 4. No, let's go to Artboard 6, all right? Now, if I would've went and added those the opposite way, we wouldn't be going backwards, but you get the, you get the the gist of what we got uh, going on, all right? So let's go ahead and drop this one at six.
Got that. And let's go to our board five. I might just chop the head off like that. Leave it like that. Let's go to artboard four. Wrapping up our week, man. We're getting it done. This is how you get it done. This is why I tell people, you know, if you're gonna invest in your brand, get some some good photos, man. I mean, if you got if you if you if you're taking photos like every week or at least two times a week. I know we're in a, a time and period in this country where it's hard for workers. I, I get it, you know, and um, Artboard 7. But I always tell people, you have to, you have to, especially if you're, if you're trying to build your brand, you have to really think about like how you're going to spend your money because um, with me, I mean, I cut back a lot of things, you know what I mean? Um, even like if it's with eating, you know, so I'm like, I make sure I get what I want to eat. That's going to help me survive throughout the week. But if I was a person that was used to always eating out, let's go to all board eight. I would really consider if I was trying to build my brand, cutting back on that and just eating what I need to survive. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, if you're going to build a business, you have to think like that. You know, or if you're used to taking trips or always, you know, shopping online you know uh, in a nutshell i mean if, if you're used to spending your money a certain way you, you have to you know cut back and spend it where you know where it's important at. and i hate to say it you know you're living in a back again back to what i was saying earlier you're living in a digital era where everything's going digital and it's important to have digital content and a lot of people don't think that's important you know i, I know a lot of people think well, I could just advertise on Facebook. I'm like, well, Facebook is just one outlet. You know, you have Instagram, you have Pinterest. I mean, you have to consider your, your own website, which really gives you a different uh, level of professionalism in the eyes of others. So, I mean, I would really consider, you know, mm, bang break. I would really consider like, at least doing a shoot a month, you know, put, put aside, a hundred, two hundred dollars just to get quality shots. <clears throat> you know, or find a photographer we could build rapport with, and they could work a deal with you till you pay them a certain amount of money each week to do a shoot once a week, or invest in your own equipment and teach yourself how to shoot yourself. You know, once a week. You know, but this is one shoot, one outfit. You know, now you have. You have seven days, you have nine days worth of posts. So if someone was to book me for a shoot and they were to pay me extra, they'd be like, okay, well, I want two weeks worth of posts, you know, save in this type of format. I would come online, I would do this for them. I would send it off to the client, show it to them. And they, and they could let me know, well, I want, you know, I want number six to be in black. All right, cool. We go to number six, you know, and we put that puppy in black. You know, six and nine. How about that? Let's do, uh, no, six and four. We go to number four. We drop that in black. And what's the sweet thing about artboards? Everything, every adjustment layer I added, it, it went straight into that folder. How about two? So we go to number two, you know, put that baby in black. Not only that, we can go to number two and we can crank that red up. All right and it give it more pop on any of these like if i want to go to number six it probably add some more contrast to it you know I'll probably crank that red down well let me see there we go kind of like that give it a darker image same with number four you might want to go well i want to go a little brighter up it depends i like that and then we go to number eight There we go. All right. And that's just images. So I shoot that to the client. He's like, well, you know what, Will? I want to put on number five, you know, coming soon. All right, cool. Let's go to number five. We'll drop that on there. 
I know that's big, but we're gonna we're gonna fix all of that. Drop that right there. Am I still on the text? All right, number five. There we go. Click on number five. I clicked off of it. All right. Let's go to seventy-two. And we need all this to be in white. Let me go back to my Wacom because this is bugging. It's probably because the screencast is going on at the same time. I don't know. Even that up. Not only that, you gotta think about something. This is just a template as a mock-up, right? So this is a mock-up template. So say for instance, my client might see this and they want number five to be a visual. You know, like I might take that in After Effects and add some, some glitch to it and some music playing on it. You know, he might want that for number two, six, eight, and four to have this image as the beginning. But once you click on it, it goes into some music. It goes into some video. That's another way. Also, you can think about branding yourself because somebody might see this when they come to your page, but actually when they go to number two, six, four, and eight are the opposite way around. When you click on it, it has a slide where it goes to something promoting music or promoting the show. Or uh, once you click on it, you know, it has music and visuals playing on it. So this is what they'll see. But once you get to that post, depending on what you want to happen, you know, that's why it, consultation is important you know I, I was on this group on Facebook I think it was a black business group and they were talking about if you don't drop prices you don't have prices I'm not shopping with you I'm like well you can't drop a price for what I'm doing right now I mean because what I'm doing right now can start off at one price and then it could go through the roof that's why you talk to people I might have a set price for the photo shoot all right but then say for instance that client might want to change outfits that's a different price and say for instance he wants okay you know if the, if the shoot comes with like maybe three retouch photos but he wants nine retouch photos so you have to pay for all those retouching all right then he wants to for me as a creative director to come and create his content for his instagram so that's me doing content for his instagram it might go higher than that well i don't want just content i want video added well that's another price then we can get an after effects that's uh, that's a horse of a different color you know and the consultation is a cause period because the client doesn't know anything about what i'm doing i know that because i'm the creative i have the marketing and advertisement expertise to show him or her this is how it's going to make your brand look different you know and we should we you can screenshot this and send this to a client and, and put it on an instagram template and they're going to sit back and visualize wow my page can look like that first of all they're gonna look at their current page and they're like, wow, this looks 10 times better than my current page. I think I'm gonna pay this person because this looked like it'll get my numbers up to the roof. You know, so you have to, th you can't just tell people uh, you, don't, you don't drop a price, I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna keep scrolling. Nah, that's that's ignorance, you know, because everyone has, you know, I mean, I, you have clients out there who might sell cookies or cakes, you know, and they have a set price for it, I get that. But stuff like this, you, you can't just drop a certain price. That's what consultation for you. you have to sit down and you come up with the invoice, and the invoice is going. It can start from here, and it can go just like that based off of what you want. Which is why you're going to either one pay somebody to make you look good, or two, you're going to pay yourself in hours and research and studying and coffee and bang, staying up, learning how to do this by yourself. It's either one or the other. You have to spend. Do like what I did for the last 10, 15, 20 years, stay up. That's why I got these bags under my eyes. Stay up and learn this, you know, pay for classes, pay for tutorials, spend hours of just training myself, studying, pay myself through time and studying, teaching myself how to do this, what you, what you have to do, or just pay somebody to do it. It's just what, I mean, you can't be, you can't be cheap and you can't, you can't, cut yourself short when it comes to your dream. I see some people that, you know, that are inspirational uh, to me on Instagram and I look at their stuff, I'm like, okay, I know they paid somebody for that. And they have a photographer that they have on deck all the time, shooting them all the time and their content always looks good. And that's why their numbers always stay high. 
Now you'll have people that you know from your hometown, they're not gonna like, they're not gonna comment. Once you start getting, looking like this good, they're not, but people from outside your city, they'll comment, this looks great, this looks great, you know. But you have to stay consistent. That's the number one way to get your followers to jump to, to jump to the roof. You have to stay consistent and you always have to post high quality content. So once again, you're either gonna do it yourself, teach yourself how to do it, watch the tutorials, or just pay somebody to do it. You know, if you don't have the time, if you're if you're always busy working, you know, on other stuff for your brand, like the actual part of your brand, whether it's music, clothing, design, cooking. You know, whatever it is you do, real estate, um, <clears throat> construction, anything that, that you're out there doing, you're like, you know, I don't have time well to do all this stuff. Here's the dough. You do all that. You make me look good, you know, and, and sit back. And now it's not going to happen overnight. You know, it's not, I mean, you're just not going to create something like this and expect, oh, I'm going to have 10,000 followers tomorrow. No, that you have to be consistent. That's why I said it's, it's, a, it's a process. You have to continually post, excuse me, all the time. And you have to engage with people but first and foremost you have to have high quality content okay hope you guys learned something from that this is your art board art board lesson how to create a quick art board um add images and how to lay out your content for the whole week so you can so now let me finish the tutorial with this now that i have my content and all my art boards one through nine want to go up to file Go to export. Boy, y'all getting some gems today. Go to export, artboards to files. Or you can send it through PDFs. So when you go to artboards to files, all right, you got this little box pop up. You're going to click your destination where you want to save it. And I'll, I'll just save it in my picture folder under King W. Click OK. And you could say the prefix, you know, I just put IG post. And you want to click on artboard content only. You can save it as a JPEG, PN, you know, PNG, PSD. We're just going to save it as a JPEG. And um, the quality up. And then you run it. And as you can see, it's going to run its algorithm. It's going to save all these images that we created. Mind you now, it doesn't have to be, you know, a square square pixel. It doesn't have to be 1080 by 1080. You know, if you want to, the portrait size, I think Instagram portrait is 1280 by 720. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's what it is. I'll put in the caption below what the actual size is for portraits. But you can create an artboard with, see, artboards to file to say successful. So when you go and look for that file, which I saved in my pictures, right? But yeah, you can save it to whatever size you want it to be. And this isn't just for Instagram. It could be for Facebook also. So we got King W. Look at that. IG post one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I would do, I would just highlight all these, go to my Gmail, a Dropbox, put them right in there, and I have them saved to my phone. First day, boom, here go our post. Second day, here go our post. Here go folks. And the same rules apply if you want to do three posts a day, which is what I did to get my numbers up. I do three posts a day. So if you're doing it for a week, three times seven is what, like 21? You you will want to create 21 blocks, all right? 21 blocks, three posts a day, and you lay out what you want on there. And it doesn't have, just have to be pictures of yourself. It could be two pictures of yourself and one in the middle could be something else that you, you do. So if you do music, he could have had Artboard one and three pictures of himself. Artboard two could have been a picture of a mixer board. And artboard five could have been a picture of himself. And six and four could have been, six could have been a microphone and four could have been, you know, you know, a nice car or something. So it depends on your niche when it comes to Instagram. I mean, if you want something luxury, you will have cars and boats and watches and jewelry and fancy places and, you know, different destinations. If it's food, you might have food then you might want shots of like a cutting board and you can you sit there and give a description about like why you use this certain cutting board you know that you you have to be creative when it comes to this type of stuff when it comes to branding and stuff all right follow me on instagram will mydell or mr mydell and follow seven hughes made like subscribe 
click the notification bell. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you again later.